Hello everyone, Tech for TV Eyes here. In today's video, we will be going over some of the features of the Blind Shell Classic 2 accessible mobile cell phone. So the Blind Shell Classic 2 was a phone that was made in Prague in the Czech Republic, and it's designed for the visually impaired. So it has tact a tactile keypad, a louder speaker, and it also has a bunch of different apps on it, which I'll show you. But first, let's go through some uh, some of the buttons on the phone. So. You have a screen, of course, at the top. Uh, so starting on the front side of the phone, uh, the leftmost button is action button number one. So this button will bring you to the status menu. The next button on the, on the right, or in the middle, is your up arrow key. So this brings you previous to the previous item. The next button on the right is action button number two. So this one it repeats the last utterance, so if the phone said call, it'll repeat that word. If you hold this button down, however, it'll spell the word, so it'll say C-A-L-L. -L. Next, on the next row, on the leftmost side again, this circular button is your OK button. So this is how you answer the phone, this is how you confirm, this is OK. The next button is the down arrow key, or the next button. And the next one to the right of that is your uh, cancel button or decline if you want to decline a phone call. Then you have your standard keypad one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, pound, and star or hash. So on the sides of the phone, the leftmost side, you have a volume rocker, so up and down. On the right side, you have a button for favorite applications. So when you press this button, uh, it'll invoke a menu that'll, uh, that'll allow you to add and delete favorite applica applications. Also, this button also invokes voice control. So voice control is, if you think of dictation, that's, that's what this is. It'll allow you to send messages, call a number, call a contact, things like that. So on the back of the phone, let's transition to the back. You have an emergency SOS button. This is a recessed circular button. Above that is a camera along with a flashlight. And then when you take off the back cover, which I'm not going to do now, uh, you have a battery and then you have dual SIM card slots along with a memory SD card slot. So I'm going to flip it back over. And just to just note that this phone charges via USB-C and the USB-C port is all the way at the bottom of the phone. So in order to unlock the Blind Shell Classic 2, you would use the star key. So you would hold down the star key. There we go. Now, when you unlock the phone, call should be the first item. So the, uh, the calling feature on this phone allows you to dial a number or dial a contact. The next menu item, so I'm hitting down arrow. Messages, 2 of 7 is messages. So this allows you to send messages to a number or contact or to a group. The next item contacts. is Three of seven. contacts. So this allows you to manage contacts. Please note that when you're entering contacts, surname is your last name, is what is the term that they use for last name. Applications. Four of seven. So uh, Blind Shell has a plethora of applications that are useful to blind and, and and also other other individuals with disabilities. Settings, five of seven. So there are different settings. So let's go into settings by hitting OK. Sounds, one of ten. So you can change uh, different sound pro profiles here. So let's hit OK on this one. Profiles, one of seven. So there's profiles. Volume, two of seven. You can change the sound volume. Melodies, three of seven. Melodies. Voice output, four of seven. Feedback, five of seven. Notification reminder, six of seven. Automatic speakerphone, 7 of 7. So, the, the one setting that I would like to go over is automatic speakerphone. So this is... Uh, it, this may be a, a useful feature if you don't... If you can't find the speakerphone button for whatever reason. So usually to turn on speakerphone, you would hit OK and then have to turn the speaker on. But automatic speakerphone, once enabled, will allow you to... Uh, as you... As you 
lift the phone from your ear, it'll go to speaker automatically. So let's hit OK. Automatic speaker phone off selected. One so right two. now I have it off, but if I hit down arrow, automatic speaker phone on not selected. I can turn two. I can turn that on, but I don't want that on. So in order to go back to the home menu, let's long press the decline button or the cancel button. 2, 10 PM. Now I'm back on the home screen. Call. One of seven. Applications. Settings. Manual. Six of seven. The Blind Shell Classic 2 also features a manual. So if you don't know how to use something on the phone, you can go into this manual and learn how to use it. So let's go into the manual quick by hitting OK. Blind Shell Classic 2 user guide. One of eight. Getting started. Two of eight. So there, there are different categories here. So let's go down to Blind Shell Functions. Controlling the phone. Blind Shell Functions. Four of eight. And let's hit OK. Main screen. One of ten. Call. Two of ten. Messages. Three of so, ten. So, if I wanted to learn more about the calling function, call. Two of ten. I can hit OK. The call menu item allows making phone calls to numbers or contacts in the contact list. It also contains call history, statistics, and block number settings. One of thirteen. So, as you go through this menu, it'll show you how to make a call, how to answer a call, how to hang up, how to hang up on someone. Thing, things like that. So let's back out of here. Call. Two of ten blind shell functions. Manual. Six of seven. Turn off the phone. Seven of seven. The next item is turn off the phone. So this will allow you to turn the phone off for whatever reason, say if the phone freezes, or if if emails just won't send for whatever reason, you can turn it off. Call. One of seven. And call is is the other item. So I want to show you the power of these action buttons. So the leftmost action button, as I said before, accesses that status menu. So let's hit that button now. No notifications. One of six. So it tells me that I have no notifications. 2.12 p.m. Thursday, July 14th, 2022. Two of six. Tells me the date and time. Wi-Fi state. Connected to. Wi-Fi. Disabled. Four of six. Bluetooth connectivity. Signal strength. Not available. Five of six. Signal strength for me, it says not available because I do not have a SIM card in this phone. Battery state, 100%. 6 of 6. And of course, the battery state. So let's back out of here. Call, 1 of 7. Now if I press the rightmost action button, uh, the one all the way to the right, it'll repeat the last utterance. Call, 1 of 7. Now, I could also invo invoke voice control by using that action button number three, which is on the side of the phone. So let's hold that button down. I listen after a beat. Internet radio. Opening internet radio. Resume playback, one of six. So what I did there was I used the side, the right side action button, I held it down. The phone said, I listen after a beep. Then it gave me the prompt. I said internet radio, which means to open the application, and it opened it. So let's go back home. 2.13 p.m. Call, one of seven. Now this side button also does favorite applications. So if I just press it. List of favorite applications is empty. Add favorite application, one of one. Now, since my list is empty, it'll give me that prompt to add a favorite application if I so choose to. When I hit add a favorite, Add favorite application, then it would bring up a list of, of applications for me to choose from. So let's back out of here. Oh, one of seven. So I just want to go into some of those applications. So let's go down to applications. And as you notice, the menu says one of seven, two of seven. Those are position indicators. So applications is number four in the menu of seven. So let, I'm going to hit number four. Applications. Four of seven. And I'm going to hit OK. Internet browser. One of nine. So the internet browser, um, Blindshell uses, uses Google Chrome, and it allows you to uh, surf the web a as you would on a, on a regular smartphone. So it'll allow you to navigate by headings, by links, by words, by, um, by, words, by form fields, by buttons. So that's, that's the internet browser. Now, uh, Blindshell organizes their apps by categories. So you have things like tools, books, games, 
media, communication, vision aids. So let's go into tools and let's let's see what we got in here. Alarm. One of ten. So there's an alarm. Calculator. Two of ten. Calculator, which which does basic operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, uh, along with negative numbers and decimals. Calendar. Three of ten. Calendar. It allows you to add an event and then it'll notify you uh, 15 minutes in advance of the event. Flashlight. Four of ten. Flashlight will enable the flashlight. Uh, so will, will en enable, will basically turn your phone into a flashlight. So if you're looking for something in the dark, you can find it. Minute timer. Five of ten. Minute timer. Notes. Six of ten. Notes allows you to add a short note, so you can... Uh, you can make a shopping list on here if you so choose to. Stopwatch. 7 of 10. Stopwatch. Unit converter. 8 of 10. The unit converter. Voice recorder. 9 of 10. Voice recorder. You can you can record a short note. You can even record that. You can even record a shopping list if you should if you so choose to. Weather. 10 of 10. And the weather. So Let's Alarm. let's let's go one into of one 10. of these. Weather. Voice recorder. Unit converter. Let, of let's 10. go into the unit converter. Angle, one of 13. So the unit converter has different uh, categories of conversion. Area, two of fuel consumption, digital memory, energy, length, mass, power, pressure, speed, time, 11 temperature, 12 of volume, 13 of 13. Let's go into length. Angle, area, fuel, digital memory, energy, length, 6 of 13. Input unit, meters, one of four. Output unit, feet. So, let's just say we're converting from meters to feet. So, input unit, meters, one of four. Now, in order to get into this edit field, let's press OK. Meter selected, one of 15. Astronomical units not selected. Meter selected, one of 15. Meter selected. Astronomical units, decimeters not selected. Input unit, output unit, value, three of four. Okay. So, We've chosen that we want to convert from meters to feet, so now we're on an edit box called value, and we have to put a number in. So let's press OK. Meters. And let's just say five meters. Five. Value, five meters, three of four. Convert, four of four. Now, the way that I got out of that edit box was hitting OK, then I down arrowed to convert. So five meters is how many feet? Let's see. Five meters equals sixteen point four zero four two feet. Okay, not bad. Convert four of four. Now let's back out of this. Length six of thirteen. Unit converter eight of ten. Tools two of nine. So that's just one of um, a little demonstration of an application in the tools section. So now let's go down to the next category. Communication three of nine. So this is communication. Now uh, let's hit OK. One of two. So the Blindshell Classic 2 has an email client that you can use to check your email, compose a new email, reply to an email, etc. Um, so let's just hit OK on this email application. Loading. New email. One of 13. So you can compose a new email. So let's hit down arrow. Inbox. Two of 13. You can see your inbox. Important. Three of 13. Your important emails. Drafts. Four of 13. Your drafts. So if there was an email that you've written and you saved drafts, it'll be here. Sent mail. Five of 13. Your sent mail. Trash. Six of 13. Trash. Spam. Seven of 13. All mail. Eight of 13. Sent. Nine of 13. Starred. Ten of 13. Starred is your flagged emails. Trash. Eleven of 13. Gmail trash. Settings. Thirteen of 13. Let's check out the settings in, in email for a second. Edit account. One of two. So you can edit your account. Background checking for new emails. Two of two. And then you can also background check for new emails. So you can tell the phone whether you want it to check for emails every five minutes, every 15 minutes, every hour, never, or every day. Settings. Let's back out 13 of, of 13. Email. One of two. Communication. Three of nine. Let's go to the next... Um, the next category. Media. Four of nine. So, media has a lot in it. So let's see what we got in here. Camera. 
one of 11. So we have the camera. And what's nice about the camera is that when you take a picture, uh, the phone will give you uh, audible feedback. So it'll say, one face centered. It'll tell you if you're in the right spot when taking a picture. And then when you go to save a picture, you will be prompted to create an audio description of what the picture is. So as a, as a blind person like myself, this is very helpful because if I'm going through pictures on a regular smartphone, I'm not going to know what they are. Whereas on the blind shell, it makes it easier to go through one's photo library and choose a picture that they want to maybe share with someone or um, maybe that, that may bring back a special memory. So let's go to the next application. Document reader, two of 11. So this one is not built into the phone. This one is the one that I downloaded from the app catalog, which I'll explain later, but it allows you to um, view documents and, and read documents and navigate them by whether it's heading or word or character or image. FM radio, three of 11. So this phone has an FM radio, which I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about. I was, that was the first thing that I tried. But uh, you need headphones to be able to use this because headphones are, headphones act as the antenna for the FM radio. So this allows you to go through station by station, add stations to favorites, um, uh, um, do automatic or manual tuning, things like that. Images, four of 11. Images, so we, we saw camera before. Images is where all the photos will be saved. Internet radio, five of 11. Internet radio, this uses Wi-Fi to search for online radio stations or stations that are on the FM dial but are also streaming. Music player, six of 11. So the music player allows you to, um, connect the phone to your computer and download mp3 files of of any song that you want. Podcast player, 7 of 11. Again, this is a podcast player, so this is one that I got from the app catalog, and it allows you to search and subscribe to podcasts. Shazam, song recognition, 8 of 11. This is also one that I downloaded from the app catalog. This is used to recognize music, recognize artist name and song. Video camera, 9 of 11. Video camera, this one, video camera and video player, which I'll show next. But video camera is also one that I got from the app catalog, which allows you to record a video. So the phone will click to let you know that the video camera is active. You start recording and the recording save in the video player. Video player, 10 of 11. Which is next. And last but not least, YouTube in this category. So YouTube, you can search by video or search by channel. And then you would be able to listen to the song and save it to your favorites as well. So let's back out of this one. Media, four of nine. Books, five of nine. Let's go into books. Book reader, one of one. So the only, the only application here is book reader. And... This allows you, so what, what, I, what I do with this book reader is I go on to Bookshare, which is a website for individuals who are blind or print disabled to get books in accessible format. And I choose a book and I convert it to an EPUB file. And then I would put it on the phone in the books folder. And that way I can read it. So let's go into the book reader and see what this does. Last book, one of three. Last book. Books list, two of three. Bookmarks, three of three. Okay, so let's go into books list. Last books list, nothing to fear. Jackie French collar, one of two. So this is a book that I have. If I hit OK, it'll start playing the book. Now I can use my uh, up and down arrows to navigate section by section or chapter by chapter. And I can also add bookmarks here. So let's back out of here. Books list. Book reader. One of one. Books. Five of nine. Games. Six of nine. There are many games on this phone, so let's open up games and see what we have. Dice Roller. One of six. So Dice Roller is another one that I downloaded from the app catalog. 
Um, this one is an accessible dice. So uh, I'm sure you know a lot, a lot of us are visually impaired and we cannot see the dice, the numbers on the dice. The, the die may have holes on it, which may be easy to count with the eyes, but not with the fingers. So the blind shell has a dice roller that will allow you that will allow you to roll a dice by hitting OK, and the phone will speak the number. So let's open dice roller. Roll a die, one of two. So you can either roll a die. Number of sides, twelve. Two of two. So you can change the number of sides from six or twelve. So let's roll a die. Roll one a die. Two. two. Perfect. We got two, and now we can move two spots on the game board. So let's back out of here. Roll a die. One of dice roller. One of six. Hangman. Two of six. The next game is Hangman. Mau Mau. Three of six. Mau Mau. That one is a card game. Memory game. Four of six. Memory game. Simon. Five of six. So the Simon game is is if you think of uh, the children's game Simon Says, this one. Um, It'll give you a tone to play, and you have to copy that tone. And the tones will get harder and harder and longer and longer. Wampus, six of six. And of course, Wampus, which is a audio game where you have to try to kill this monster called Wamp Wampus. He's a mythical creature called Wampus to get through each level. So let's back out of here. Games, six of nine. Vision aids, seven of nine. Now this is important, so we have... There are a lot of vision aids that make this phone um, very special. So let's hit OK. Be my eyes, one of seven. So be my eyes is, is the first one. This one I also downloaded from the app catalog. For those of you who don't know, be my eyes is an application that allows you to connect with uh, an, an agent, a, a live human, and they'll give you visual descriptions. So they'll give you colors of objects. So if you need, if you need to know the color of your clothing. They can help you match your clothing. If your computer freezes, they can look at your computer screen and see what's going on. So things like that. Any any kind of visual assistance. Let's move to the next one. Beepers, two of seven. So beepers are sold separately with the phone. And they allow you to put... The, you would put this little device on car keys or on your cane even, on your white cane. Or whatever you're, whatever you think you're gonna lose, and you would save the beeper in the phone. Once, say if you lose your cane, I can go into beepers and find my cane. Once I hit OK on that cane beeper, the actual device, the beeper itself, will go off, and it'll help me find my cane. So if you think of something like the Air Tag or something, something of that nature. The color indicator. So, as soon as you hit OK on this one, it will tell you what the color of anything you point to is. So, say if you had a pair of pants near you, you can hit OK and it'll take a picture of the pants and tell you what color they are. Google Lookout, four of seven. Google Lookout is an app that's also downloaded from the app catalog. It's, it was not built in with the phone. It is an app that allows you to take pictures of barcodes, take pictures of documents, short text. It also allows you to scan currency and it'll let tell you it'll tell you the de denomination. It'll read it out for you. Localization 5 of 7. So localization tells you where you are. Please note that localization does not give you walking directions. This only tells you where you are at your current location. Magnifying glass Six of seven. So this is helpful for those of you who are low, vis low vision. Uh, this is a magnifying glass, so this will magnify uh, anything that's put in front of the camera. NFC object tagging. Seven of seven. So this is called, this last one here is called NFC object tagging. So NFC stands for near, near field communication. And what this does is... Uh, Blind Shell will give you stickers, and you'll put these stickers on items. 
say, I don't know, I had a perfume that I, that I didn't know what it was. So I put the sticker on that perfume, then I can write on that sticker with my voice. So when I, when I put the phone on the sticker, it'll tell me what that, what that object is. Vision aids, seven of nine, health and fit, eight of nine. So health and fit is not a category that comes with the phone. So in health and fit, um, the Bl blind shell team created a step counter, which allows you to uh, track your steps. So you set a daily goal for yourself. Of course, you have to put in your height and your weight and all your health information. But once you hit save and you start walking, it'll record your steps for you. So let's go into health and fit. Step counter, one of one. So let me go into step counter. Today, one of five. So I can see my steps for today. Last seven days, two of five. Last seven days. History, three of five. History. Statistics, four of five. Settings, five of five. And of course there's settings. So let's see my steps for today. Today. One of five steps. Fifty of one oh 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 oh. One of four. So it's showing that I have fifty steps out of my daily goal of ten thousand. Now it reads ten thousand as one oh 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 oh. So I'm gonna move down to the next item. Distance zero point zero one miles. Two of four. It'll tell you your distance. Moving time one minute thirty nine seconds. Three of four. Moving time. Calories one kilocalorie. Four four. And it'll tell me how, how many calories I burn. So let's back out of here. Today, one of step counter, health and fit, eight of nine, app catalog, nine of nine. Okay, so you may be wondering, what is this app catalog that she's talking about? Here it is. So let's hit OK. Browse catalog, one of four. So the app catalog is, think of this as some kind of app store. Uh, this is a, an app store specifically for apps that, that blind shell, uh, that blind shell created or that blind shell approved to be accessible to place on this phone. So there are different options here. So one of them is browse catalog. Installed packages, two of four. Installed packages. Update, three of four. And you can also update apps in here. So let's browse the catalog. Catalog settings, four of four. Oh, catalog settings. Browse catalog. One of four. Let's browse it. Recommended packages. One of four. So, as, as you can tell, this phone is very menu-driven. Um, and if you're familiar with other kinds of phones like this in the past, this will be very, very easy for you to use. So, this is the first item. Recommended packages. So, these are ones that Blindshell recommends for people who are blind or low vision. Search. Two of four. You can search for an application. Recently added, three of four. You can see what's been recently added within the last few months. All packages, four of four. Or you can go to all packages and it'll list every single package. So let's go to recommended packages and see what's under there. Recommended packages, all categories, one of nine. Okay, so now we can choose by different categories. So books, two of nine. Let's go to communication. Three of nine. Communication. Blind shell telegram client. One of three. So, there's a telegram. Facebook messenger. Two of three. Blind shell does not yet have Facebook. It only has Facebook messenger. So if you have a Facebook account, you will be able to log in. Skype light. Three of three. And Skype light, which is an easier way to use Skype if you still use Skype. So, in, in regard to communication, Blind Shell also has WhatsApp on the phone. So for those of you who don't know, WhatsApp is an application that allows you to make free calls, free video calls, and to text others for free. This is especially, this is especially useful for texting people outside of the country, outside of the United States, if you live in the United States. Communication, three of nine. Let's back out of here. Recommended packages. One of four. Browse catalog. One of four. App catalog. Internet browser. One of nine. And we're back at the internet browser. So. We covered. Tools. Two of nine. Internet browser. One of nine. 
All right. Well, I think we've covered everything. If you'd like to learn more about this phone, you can go to Blindshell's website, which I will post in the description. And thank you to Blindshell for allowing me to trial this phone. 2.35 go back. p.m. Oh, one of seven. Now, in order to lock the phone, we will press and hold the star key. All right, this concludes our video on the Blindshell Classic 2. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.